A long time ago, in a studio far from America, the movie Star Wars was born in 1977. On the weekend of April 7th, we celebrated 46 years of Star Wars stories. We look not only ahead at the new projects to come, but in homage to the Star Wars stories of the past. I am Ben Darling, and this is Nerd Force. Today, talking about Star Wars celebration, my thoughts and excitement for the new projects. Just as a warning, spoilers for any current Star Wars projects will be present. Let's run into this. Starting with probably the biggest news that came out is the Ahsoka trailer. Fans were greeted with the long anticipated Ahsoka show with a trailer and a release date. Coming in August of 2023, audiences will be reintroduced to the character that everyone hated then learned to love during Star Wars The Clone Wars. The trailer was truly an epic event to rock the Star Wars community. It showcased not only our favorite Togruta, but it also brought back fan favorite Rebels characters Sabine, Hera, Ezra, and the subject of most discussion is the return of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Many fans are speculating this will be a return to the Heir of the Empire story from Legends. The Empire currently has several warlords raging across the galaxy as shown by the latest Mandalorian episode. This could possibly lead into the premise for the movie lined up on the docket to be directed by executive producer Dave Filoni. The Ahsoka series could, be, could bring Thrawn's return into the mainstream and explain the mysterious origins of the First Order and lead into the Heir of the Empire movie adaptation. Moving on, Star Wars fans got more news on the show named Accolade, a story focused on the dark side. I for one am very excited for this project. The announcement brought with it the confirmation of the full cast and revealed the title card for the show. The Acolyte takes place during the High Republic era, a time period largely not covered outside of books and games. Will be quite interesting to gaze on the democracy that lasted for thousands of years before being crushed by a man named Sheev. Moving over to Star Wars animation, we have a confirmed season 2 of Tales of the Jedi. No confirmation on what Jedi this season will follow, however it is confirmed that it will be still set during the fall of the Republic. Many positive responses came out of the first season released in 2022, so one can only imagine the stories of a new Tales of the Jedi could tell. And finally, we have Bad Batch Season 3 announced. No solid release date has been circulated, however, it has been said that it will be coming in 2024. Many of you may be asking at home, they just finished the second season, how are they already ready to bring Bad Batch into 2024? The answer came to those at Star Wars Celebration, where fans were shown the teaser trailer from the new season. Some leaks circulated around the web, with TikTok being the highest chance of seeing a leak. From what could be seen in the video, there is an advanced cloning operation set up by Palpatine himself. As a matter of fact, he seems to be directly involved. Further into the trailer, it exhibits the return of Captain Rex and Fennec Shan. Rex adoring his full Phase 2 armor again, and rumors have spread that Commander Wolf will make his debut to the Bad Batch. Many exciting things came from this, as the mystery hidden in Mount Tantus may finally be revealed to canon. So many great things happened at Star Wars Celebration that touching them all will in fact take a full length show. So with that, that is all the time we have for now. For more nerd culture news, tune in to our next Nerd Force episode. I've been Ben Darling, and as always, remember to stay whelmed.